Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at a small DC to DC boost converter. Uh, these little units you'll find all over eBay these days, made in China, extremely cheap, around £1.30 a piece, free delivery. And this particular one I have uses the XL Semi chip, the XL6009. Now, the suppliers of these on eBay advertise that these modules are capable of supplying output currents of up to 3 amps which is a little bit of a fallacy because when you look at the data sheet for the IC that they use on these modules that suggests that the maximum input switching current is 4 amps. The suppliers of these modules also say they are extremely efficient, 94%. Well I would imagine that's the absolute maximum but what we'll do today is I purchased a number of these so let's test a few of these uh, modules and just see what they live up to. We'll just have a quick look at the module here. Um, they clearly see the chip itself, the XL6009. Uh, the inductor used on this module is a 47 microhenry inductor. On some modules on eBay that could be 33 microhenries. There you have the adjustable preset setting the feedback voltage for the chip which uh, determines the output voltage. Uh, there you have a shocky diode there which is rectifying the stored energy from the inductor and then you have the uh, the input smoothing capacitor and the output smoothing capacitor there and there's a few of the small capacitors on the board there so that's it basically very very simple arrangement uh, two input pins there and two output pins there right, I've got uh, one of these little modules connected up at the moment I have uh, 5 volts going in on the input and uh, these two meters here, this one's uh, monitoring the input voltage and this is the input current. The DC electronic load here is monitoring the output voltage and it will also monitor the output current and the power. So at the moment I have no load on the, uh, on the device but the module is set for an output voltage of around 10 volts. So I've got 10 point 1 1 volt. So what I'll do now is I'll enter a current of 0.1 of an amp and we'll just check that. So check 0.1 of an amp and I'll connect the load. So at 0.1 of an amp, that's 100 milliamps there, uh, we're getting 10 volts out so that's staying constant. Uh, it's generating 1 watt of power the input voltage is still around about 5 volts, 4.975 and the input current is 0.22 of an amp. So let's go up to 0.3 of an amp. And connect the load. It's handling that okay, so 0.3 of an amp is fine. 10 volts out, 3 watts of power. The input current now is 0.6 of an amp and the input voltage has dropped slightly 4.889 so let's now go up to uh, 0.4 of an amp and connect the load again and that's fine that's handling that so 0.4 of an amp 10 volts is still coming out 4 watts the input current is now 0.93 of an amp and the input voltage is now 4.843 so let's go to half an amp now. 0.5. Connect the, the load. So it's handling 0.5 of an amp at 10 volts output. That's fine. The input current is now 1.19 amp. And the input voltage is dropped slightly now to 4.794. So let's go up to 0.6 of an amp. and connect the load again. That's fine at 6 watts output power and the input current is now 1.47 of an amp. So let's now try 0.7 of an amp and connect the load again and that's still fine. Uh, so uh, 10 volts still coming out, 0.7 of an amp, we've got 7 watts of power and uh, the input current is now 1.79 of an amp. Uh, the input voltage has dropped now down to 4.68. Right, 
Well, let's step it up now to uh, one amp. Let's see what happens there. One amp. So if I uh, connect the load now at one amp, and that's uh, still fine at the moment. We've got one amp, amp of current, still around about 10 volts, gone up slightly. So we now have 10 watts of power, 10.1 watts of power. The input current, however, is shot up now to nearly 3 amps there, 2.99 amps. And the input voltage is down at 4.457. So let's you go to 1.1 of an amp. And connect the load again. That seems to be okay at the moment. The voltage has gone up slightly there, uh, so you may have to trim the voltage at some point. Uh, so we're now getting 11.1 watts out, and we've got uh, 3.64 amps drawn at the input there. So let's step it up to 1.2 amps on the output. and connect the load again. Right now at 1.2 amps it's now the voltage is dropping, it's gone drop now down to 6 volts or 7 volts there. So we have about 11.1 watts of power but you can see there the voltage has dropped down to 9.29. So I think probably 10 watts power is about the maximum that you could get out of this little unit here. And look at the input current here is uh, 4.33 or 4.3 amps. Right, I've now set the uh, the output voltage on the just trim the preset there. Set the output voltage for 20 volts. I've got 5 volts going into the module and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the current at 0.5 of an amp straight away and just see what happens. Connect the load. Just about handling that 0.5. So we, again we, j we, we, we have a power rating there of 10 watts so it's, it's uh, handling 20 volts at 0.5 of an amp so that's 10, 10 watts. Uh, the input current is just about nearly 3 amps and the input voltage dropped down to 4.459. So let's just take it over the edge. Let's increase it to 0.6 of an amp on the output there. So uh, 0.6 and connect the load and see what happens. It's uh, 20 volts out at the moment so I connect the load. Now you can see it's starting to voltage to drop. And you can, you can see that that voltage just carries on falling. So it doesn't like 0.6 of an amp, that's 11 watts. So I think again 10 watts is about the maximum for this particular module. If I feel the chip it's absolutely red hot now, you can't keep your finger on that. So let's just switch off the load. Right, I've just uh, increased the input voltage here to 10 volts. I've left the output set for 20 volts there, so that seems to be fine. I'll just connect the load. So we go, I'll, I'll leave it at 0.6 of an amp there. At 0.6 of an amp it's drawing 11.9 watts. The voltage has dropped down slightly to 19.82 so it's probably just on the edge there. If I just take it down slightly to 0.55 of an amp and connect the load. Uh, again the voltage is, is down there, it, it's drawing the current, the voltage is down, that's 10.9 watts, so let's drop it still further to say 0.52 of an amp. Connect that. And again you can see there it's the voltage is still below the 20, so you know, it obviously doesn't like more than 10 watts. If we just go now back down to 0.5, we 
which is 9.9 .9 watts. Yes, so it's again the the, the voltage is there 19.79. So for for some reason the voltage is still slightly low. So I'll just see if I can trim that. Yeah, you can bring the voltage back up to uh, to 20 there, and again it's uh, 10 watts, so it it can handle 10 watts. Uh, okay, so at 20 volts, that's 0.5 of an amp. But I think once you start getting higher than that, that then uh, you have a problem. And as I say, the the chip is actually now red hot. You you need you do need a heat sink on at uh, at 10 watts. Well, I've just uh, connected another one of these modules here just to compare it with the first one. So this is another module. I've set it to 20 volts out and uh, I've got about the 5 volts there going in. So at the moment I have uh, this set to 0.5 of an amp. So let's switch on the load and see what happens. And again, it seems to handle it okay. 10.1 watts coming out. So let's just switch the load off and let's take it up to 0.6 of an amp and switch the load back on and now again you can see the voltage dropping so it doesn't like going over 10 watts basically so uh, and if you look at the input current here you can see we have uh, 4 0.58 amps and increasing and the input voltage has dropped down to 4.1 and I would imagine the chip is getting red hot. I'll just switch off the load. I'm just checking the temperature of the uh, the chip uh, at 0.6 of an amp so that's over the limit really so I'll just uh, see what that is and that's at the moment 30 degrees centigrade and rising so all of these modules that I've tested seem to have problems once you start to exceed 10 watts output power and uh, probably that's really what it's capable of doing well here I have uh, another module I've just connected um, and I've set the input to 5 volts and I've set the output to 20 so we'll have a look at the uh, measurements this time and then we'll just check what the efficiency is so if I uh, leave the current there at 0.5 of an amp and switch the load on so we're drawing about half an amp that's giving us uh, 10 watts out if you look at the input there we the voltage dropped slightly now down to 4.564 and the input current is 2.8 so let's just check the input wattage which is 2.881 there times the voltage which is 4.563 so the uh, input wattage is 12.82 and the output is 10 so the efficiency would be 10 divided by 12.82 so that's 78 percent so on the basis of what we're getting here the efficiency of this is 78 percent which is a, a long way off the 94 percent they suggested uh, on the eBay listing I've set the uh, the input voltage now for around 10 volts going in I've left the output set at 20 uh, and I've also left the output current at 500 milliamps so we're still drawing 10 watts so let's just uh, check what the efficiency is this time so the current has dropped to just over one amp so it's uh, 1.07 of an amp times the voltage which is 10.1 10.1 that means we it's 10.8 watts on the input and the output was 10 watts so the efficiency is 10 divided by 10.8 and that's 92 percent 
So if you increase the, uh, the input voltage the efficiency seems to improve. So we've got an efficiency there of 92% with 10 volts in and 20 volts coming out. Well in summary these little modules can deliver 10 watts of power. They, they don't seem to be able to cope with the 15 watts that's suggested by some sellers on eBay. Uh, even at 10 watts you will need to ensure you have a heat sink uh, on the chip there itself to keep it reasonably cool. It gets extremely hot. So all in all not bad little module for the price uh, but doesn't quite deliver what some of the eBay sellers are suggesting it might do. Well I hope you found that of interest. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.